Howdy, folks. We've got Jimmy on this end and Tim over here. I'm uh, playing Pioneer third round FNM. Yep. Sweet. Ready when you are. Yeah, I'll just uh, play a Blood Caves tapped, go to 21, and pass. Cool. Uh, yeah, sure. Draw for turn, yeah. I don't think the camera sees it. It's yeah. Off that. Um, I'll shock a Blood Crypt. Oh. Better bones. Go ahead. Yeah. Mind if I break this? Yeah, no, please take your time because I'm going to have to read cards myself. So. Oh, so you can return it to your hand. Yes. But I have to lose life for that. Interesting. Oh, is that true? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Right, untap. Draw a card. <laughs> I will play. Mountain. And pass. Cool. Uh, untap. Draw. Um. <coughs> Move to combat. Mm -hmm. Swing. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll take two damage. Go to 19. Then I will... Let's say... Light up the stage. Spectacle cost, so mm -hmm. I like sell the top two cards. And then I can play them to the end of my next turn. It's risk factor in Tajik. Oh, fancy. Feel free to grab anything you need to read. Well, I might as well read these while they're here. Yeah. But this is just exiled. Or is that graveyard? Yeah, that is graveyard, yep. Okay. Okay. <coughs> okay. Well, interesting. So, go ahead and temple. Right. Scry. Bottom that. And so you. All right. I'll start. Draw a card. Play swamp. Tap three. Play fable. Oh, cool. What's that do? Oh, it makes that a fable. Goblin. <laughs> yeah, all right. And I'll pass. Untap. Draw. Do you mind if I read the rest of this? Yeah, yeah. It's been a while. Okay. Um, I think I drew. And... You got it. I'll shock. Okay. Grab Tajik. Right. He's got haste and mentor. So I'm going to move to combat. I'm going to swing swing. Mentor trigger. He's going to get a plus one plus one counter. I'll uh, trade for the Tajik, I guess. Cool. Yep. Then you take three. Yes. This I go to 16. And that's it. Okay. Draw. Take this to two. I'm going to discard two cards. So I'll discard Blight Step and Underdog. Draw two cards. I'm going to play Witch's Oven. Oh, yes. And? Yes. Uh, I think what I want to do. I think I'll just... Uh, oh, this is pretty... Sorry. <laughs> I'll no, just okay. Blood Chiefs their... their uh, Dude. Yeah, what's that do exactly? Uh, it, it has to be two or Just less. destroy targets? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Later. Okay, and then I'll pass. That's exiled for good. All right. How many cards in hand? Four. All right. Um, I'm going to Fabled Passage and crack it. 
Okay. That's one that searches for a land. Yep, basic land. That. And yet, you have like a certain number of land. If I control four or more, I untap that land. Okay. Does that include itself? Yes. Oh, yep. If, then if you control four or more lands, untap that land. Gotcha. So it'll come in tapped and then I untap it. Of course. Yeah. It's pretty good for like tap lands if you end up getting them, I feel like. Yeah, well, I think you have to get a basic. Oh, yeah. okay, never yep. mind. There you go. So that's the trade-off. Actually, I only have a... It's kind of a silly deck because it's three color aggro and like I said it's not pioneer optimized it's standard optimized so yeah, I see I only have two basic lands <laughs> that seem unique um, yeah unique is such a friendly word for it it's actually called budget um, and then you said you had four in hand yep so I'll go ahead and play Aurelia all right move to combat trigger technically target her but yeah I can't attack so Past end of turn. At beginning of combat. Oh, so it buffs itself? Yeah, then you can buff buffs something. Anything. Yeah. And it gets vigilance? Yep. Or, oh, it's one of those where it's red. <laughs> yep, if it's red, it gets uh, trample. If it's white, it gets vigilance. Okay. And I'll go to my untap stuff. Draw. This transforms. Cool. What's it do now? Uh, oh, it's a creature? Yeah, it's a creature. Oh. Was that like a cycle? Were there sagas that turned into creatures? Yeah, back in Kamigawa. Nice. Basically, when I could use its tap effect, I could pay one mana to make a copy that's a token of a non-legendary creature. Okay. And I sacrifice it at the end of turn. Okay. I think I'll do this. Doesn't feel good, but I'm gonna deadly dispute my witch's oven. Okay. That'll make a treasure token, and yeah. <coughs> it'll draw me two cards. Cool. Then pay mana. I'm gonna fatal push your guy. What's that do? Uh, destroys it. If I got rid of a permanent, it can be up to oh. four. So destroy that creature if it is converted mana plus four or less instead. If permanent you control, left the battlefield. All right, sweet. Yep. And I'll pass. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to play. So I apologize for this. This is in Japanese. Okay. Dreadhorde Butcher. Are you familiar? Nope. Uh, so it's a 1-1 one, one with haste, and it um, has an ability where if it deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker, so it's a 1-1 one, one right now, mm -hmm. uh, every time it deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker, it will trigger to get a plus one, plus one counter on it. Okay. And it also has an ability where when it dies, it will deal its power in damage to a target of my choosing. Oh, that's neat. Um, but I have non-Japanese copies in this deck, so we will be able to look at those oh, okay. if they come up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but otherwise, yeah, you it just pull out your phone, I do not blame you. <laughs> I mean, I'll assume that's what it does. Um, and then I'm also going to play Revival. Return target creature card with convert a mana cost three or less from my graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. It's going to be Tajik. Oh. So both of these guys have haste, sure. which means I'm going to move to my combat, and I'm going to swing swing, and we're going to get a mentor trigger. Sure. So I'm going to put a plus one plus one counter on this guy. Okay. Alright. So again, if he deals yeah. damage to you, he's going to get more counters. Yeah, so I probably want to get rid of him. I guess I'll trade like that and take three damage. And yep, then, so you'll take three combat, yep. and, and then, then two once that's all said and done, yep, I'll hit you for two. <laughs> okay, so I go to 11. All right. Oh, I don't know why I untapped all that. Please go ahead. It's your turn to untap. Yep, I will start then. Draw a card. 
it seven times. So All right. Seven times. How so do the secret is four. 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 Because four on a sixty card deck is the worst number of. I'll play a swamp. Statistically speaking. <laughs> What's this guy do? Not that I would I'm just wondering if I want to take him. Yeah, the most threatening part of him is just that I can fetch him from my graveyard kind of easily. The non-combat damage thing doesn't come up often. Yeah. All right, well, I'll just try this. I'll throw out Mayhem Devil. It's also Hell yeah. Yeah, I, you probably know what it does? Yeah, I do. Okay, yeah, yeah. Since you play Anytime during... you sack something, it pings, right? Yeah, whenever a player sacrifices something. Oh, okay. Once, okay, yeah, very relevant. And uh, I'm going to pay a red mana, claim the firstborn on your guy. So. Okay, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. All right. Combat phase, I'll attack for three damage. All right, Sounds good. Down to 13. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to sacrifice the treasure for black mana. That'll do one damage to you. Oh, yeah. Then I'm going sac to sacrifice. <laughs> no. I'm going to sacrifice him. <laughs> and this will do one damage to you. And I'll draw two cards. Okay. And I'll pass. All right. On tap. Draw. It's like it's unrealistic. It's under. It's like unrealistic to own like every deck. It's like unrealistic to own like more than one deck. It is. All right. So you've got what four in hand. Yep. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna revival <coughs> again. Oh. Bring him back. Move to combat. All right. And swing. I'll take three damage. Go to eight. Cool beans. Um, and then I will play Gutter Bones oh. and Footlight Fiend. What's that one do? It's just a ping. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Neat. <coughs> Go ahead. All right. <coughs> Alright, this might be weird, but... I think I need to do this now. I'll, oh, I'll pay two mana, get Blood Tith Harvester out. Mm -hmm. That makes a blood token. Then I'll pay one mana, play Witch's Oven. Okay. And then... I'm going to sacrifice Blood Tith Harvester with this to mm -hmm. make a food token. Cool. I'll have this ping. Uh, I'll ping this guy. Okay. And then this guy will trigger and I'll ping you. Alright, I'll go to seven. Then so you sacked um, that with Witch's Oven? Yep. And there's no life trigger, right? That's just with the cat, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. I don't think Sorry, I the Witch's Oven does not give you life. I just wanted to make sure. No, no, no. It just makes more tokens if it's a bigger dude. Sweet. Uh -huh. hmm. I think mm, I don't think I, I think I'm at ten actually. <coughs> I think I'll pay a black mana, and I'm gonna fatal push this guy. Okay. Destroy. All right. Lots of interaction. Yeah. Um, I haven't played a land this turn, so I'm going to do that. I'll play Takanuma. Cool. And then I'll go to combat, and I'll swing for three. Sounds good. Do you mind if I read the Kamigawa land? Uh, sure. It's... If I channel it, it does something, but otherwise it's just... I don't even know what channeling is. Oh, it's... You discard it from hand. Oh, it's cost. Okay, so on board it's just a land? Yeah. But, okay, thank you. Yep, no problem. All right, you said it's me? Yep. All right. Um, move to combat. Uh, I'm going to pay one mana, discard a card, sacrifice blood token. Cool. And I'll have this ping this guy. 
Cool. And that draws me a card. He's a dead guy now. I don't know why I threw my treasure token in my graveyard. Okay. Um, now I'm going to Angret's Rampage, and I'm going to name Creature, so it makes you sack something. Okay. That'll do one damage to you. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <coughs> Go ahead. All right. Draw. Oops. This two. Deadly Dispute, Sacrifice Food Token. Okay. Make a Treasure Token. Draw two cards. <laughs> no, it's not to me, I'm devil. <laughs> How do you know? All right, and uh, I'll pass to you. Okay. Oof. Tapped out? Yep. But I do have a treasure token. Hmm. <coughs> okay. Let's see. What do I actually have in here? All right, all right, all right. I'm going to revival to Sheik. Revival. Okay. Cheek. He's back. Move to combat. All right. Swing. Okay. I think, uh... <coughs> wondering what I want to do. I guess I could just block him and he'll die, but... Well, he does have an activated ability that gives him first strike. Oh. Just FYI. Okay. Pretend I declared him as a blocker. Do you want to do that? I mean, I might as well. Okay. I am going to activate the first strike. All right. I'm going to sacrifice. So before you do that, oh, <laughs> if you're trying to kill him, so oh, we, wait, we can go he, to the back oh, wait, to the beginning. If you a, want. Yeah, we okay, don't have non combat to, damage he prevents. So you do not have to block oh, him. Oh, maybe I shouldn't block him then. But I don't okay. know if you have like some crazy way to buff him. Um, right, you don't know that. Yes. <laughs> oh gosh, this is tricky. Yeah, it's, it is tricky. Well, I mean, what could you possibly do for two mana? In Pioneer? A lot of things, I feel like. YouTube, please answer in the comments below. <laughs> what could I possibly do for two mana? Okay, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, that's... I mean... Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll see what you got. I'll just not block him. It'll take the damage? Yeah. Okay, cool. Down to three. Oh, well, oh wait. Why are you moving yours? <laughs> yeah, it's been a couple of years <laughs> since I've played Magic. I forget how it works. Anyway, uh, it is all you. Please okay. go ahead. I'm not sure what you're trying to do, but... I'll draw my card. I guess I hope that you don't have anything with Flash. What do you mean? It's just one more than you. I'll pay two life, get Tenacious Underdog to Blitz from the graveyard. Mm -hmm. and then I'll swing for six damage. Easy. Good game. Good game. Okay. I don't think I need to sideboard. I was surprised to see you bring the guy back to the battlefield so many times. Yeah. Oh, this might be a good card. Yeah, it was really fun and standard because nobody used that card, the revival card. Yeah. And the the bigger side, it's um, it's six CMC, half your opponent's life total and double yours. Oh wow. And that was also just maybe not good in an aggro deck, but strictly very fun to play in an aggro deck. I can see it.
hex group target. Good. Yeah. Watch the chat, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to keep that. So who did you end up winning against? I haven't won against anyone yet. Oh, you haven't? Okay, no. I, I tied last round. Oh, right, you guys went to the... Yep. Turn, yeah. Cool, cool. Well, that means you came close. Yeah. I don't actually know which cards I played rather than this deck. I think you ended up seeing <laughs> most of my deck. Just FYI. Okay. Alright, that's me. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's the end. I had to say, uh, you lose, you lose that, but... Yeah, it's like my only card that's, like, actually doing anything. Yeah. Where did I put Yeah, I had to, I had to, like, at that point, I had to put you on a counter spell, and then, like, that moved away. I got it. Boom, around that Yeah. And so have you been playing here a while? Or no, you said you just started Magic a few months ago, right? Yeah, a few months ago is when I started coming here, and that's when I started with, like, Standard and, uh... Did somebody pull you in, or did you just get an interest on your own? Yeah, I mean, I saw, like, they were playing here, and I lived nearby, so I just kind of showed cool, cool, cool. up. They were nice. doing Standard. It was... New Capenna was the set, so... Gotcha. But I mostly tried out the cards from Kamigawa, because I was making, like, a mech deck. Yeah, it's, uh... Their different artifact stuff. That was kind of fun. Yeah, cool. And now I'm running Rakdos Artifact and playing here. Before I was running um, In Soul Artifact, which was pretty fun. Hmm. So a lot of artifact heavy decks. Yeah, I hear yeah. you. How about you? You're getting back into magic? I don't know about that. I <laughs> dropped in once. Gotcha. Magic's expensive. Yeah, I mean, at least there's some like budget decks that are fun to play. Yeah. It just depends on what you like to do, I guess. I, uh, I'm a really big brewer, and that sucks and it's hard. Yeah. Especially with like Arena. Like, I want to say Arena's a good, a good tool for it, but like, you just have to spend so much time or money to get cards just to experiment with them. Yeah. And then determine that they actually suck, and then you should move on to something else. Yeah. So. I don't know. I might come to just hang out. I don't know if I'll play. That's fun. Yeah. Like I spent basically I played for like I don't know, I wanna say a year and a half before like here, I mean, and that whole time like I only really played two decks that I just modified a little bit. This was one of them. Because I just didn't wanna buy new expensive cards. The only yeah. things that I bought were the shock clans. Because they were oh. reusable. Yeah, everyone's using those. Yeah, exactly. And they, they do add, like, a pretty competitive edge, and they maintain their value, which was how I justified it. Yeah, I mean, they're still used now, so... Mm -hmm. But I guess they're not in standard anymore, are they? No. But, I mean, they're printing them again in uh, Infinity. Oh, yeah. So, huh. cool. Should be interesting. I'm excited. I hope I get the chance to play that. Yeah, I have some friends who are going to try to get a draft box up there. Oh, yeah, that's sweet. Uh, did I lose? I lost, right? Yep. Okay, I'll take the play. Sure thing. I'll try to keep this. <laughs> I got a mulligan. Okay. I guess you say first if you're keeping it. Yeah, yep. I don't know how big of a deal that is, but... Uh, I mean, you lose a slight advantage there, I think, yeah. by declaring, but I don't think it matters that much. I'm not really considering my opponent when I mulligan with this deck. Gotcha. I guess, like, if you know that your opponent's going to six, it doesn't feel as bad going to six. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
you know what? Do you know what else I like? You miss this. Yeah, it works out. All really right, well. there we go. Oh, we'll take that spirit. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I need that one. Yeah, I can go away. Yeah. Yeah, I'll need that one. Go ahead. Yeah, you're not drawing a second land there. No, okay. 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 Nice. What? It's BS. It's such BS. I'll bottom that and keep the rest. You ready? Yep. I can keep you. one land hands. Yeah, All right. We'll uh, blood crypt tapped. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh. How about we're just gonna take that? I'll play a swamp. <laughs> play witches. All the spirits. Man. Pass. Go. Cool. Uh, Untap. Draw. Uh, that's probably good. Really? Field yeah. play. Punished for keeping. Uh, Castle Embra. Yeah. I mean, I got a two two. That's about it. Right English now. Dreadhorde Butcher. We got. We probably got to move to combat. It does have the words on there. Yeah. Well, it had the words on there before. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I'll take two damage or one okay. damage. Now it's trigger, and now he's at two two. Gotcha. Go ahead. Um, All right. Untap. Draw yeah, a card. Some of those. It's bad. Play swamp. Um. So play this. Tap. We'll play, play. Wanderer, and I'll play an eagle. Ooh. Okay. I played blood cheeks uh, first on that. So I'll play the go on to kill it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So I'll play the eagle All right. Ping you for two. Uh, two. All right. I go to seventeen. Problem is, this and I'll tap two one play. mana. Do play much, cauldron right. familiar. Go. Go to 18. Uh, yeah. yeah. Ooh. Uh, does it damage me? Yep, one okay. damage. Yeah, this is the downside, too. That's why I don't want to My turn? Yep. All right. Yeah, so tap. Draw for turn. See? See? You guys are pretty Yeah, that sucks. Oven decks shut this down. <laughs> Yeah, it seems yep. to do well against aggro. I should have assumed that you had the cat, and I would have put duresses in here. I don't know. So, honestly, you have to like exile either the cat or destroy the oven. I think. Yeah, the idea is just to like, because I can get rid of the oven. I think, but making sure you don't play more or remove my creatures or something. I just need some type of disruption. I have those three Angrits Rampages and that's all I'm riding on right now. Um, okay, so you need removal for my creatures. Um. Yeah, I was like, I'm going to play that. And I'm going to. Yeah, I think it's big. Ooh, I can't do that. I can do this. Go ahead. Okay. At your end step, I'll sacrifice him for a food mm -hmm. token, then sacrifice the food token and bring him back. All of you? Yeah. On top. Draw a card. Problem is. Two fours block, two twos. And well. combat phase, I'll attack. Cool. So, yep. Take one. Sure. And I'll pass you. All right. Tap, draw. Play Dreadhorde. OK. Move to combat. All right. Swing, swing. I'm going to, before declaring blockers, sacrifice this for a food token, then bring him back. Mm -hmm. Go to 20, and then I'll declare him as a blocker for that guy. He doesn't have trample or anything, right? Nope, he's just a 1-1, one -one also. And, uh... Yes. I think I'll actually... I won't let them kill each other. I'll deadly dispute him before okay. they deal damage. Yep. So I'll make a treasure token, draw two cards, and I'll take two damage. Looks like it. Yep. Or I guess. Would it be weird if I said that he was blocking that one instead? 
I already since I already did everything. Well, yeah. I mean, you can do that. You'll take the one damage from this guy. And he'll get yeah, his but I'll pay one mana and fatal push that guy. We can do that. That's okay. Fine. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. I appreciate it. So that. you're gonna trade with Gutter Bones. This guy's gonna die. Well, it doesn't trade. It just he doesn't deal this two damage. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, but this guy will die. Yes, and then I'll take the damage from that. Yep. Um, so I'm gonna ping you with that. Still my turn. Um, gonna activate light up the stage. Okay. Spectacle cost. Gonna exile electro dominance. Electro dominance. That's the worst two oh, no. cards. The oh, worst two gosh. cards. Oh, you can pay X equals oh. one or oh. two maybe. Oh. That just feels bad. That's another card that is just here because it's fun. Yeah, I can see it. But, um... Oh, okay. Anyway, I'll go ahead and pass my turn. <coughs> Alright. And then I'll start them. YouTube, oh, I'm wait. getting robbed. Hmm? I had a treasure token, didn't I? Or um, did I, you sack it to pay for the fatal push? No, because the only thing I played those turns was deadly dispute and fatal push, and I had three mana. Then I would guess you did, because it doesn't really look like you could have spent why. the treasure token. Yeah, because I, I was like, okay, and since I got this card in my hand, I'm going to use the treasure token. I, I don't know how it got off the field. Last earlier, I played a duress, and then I just discarded the swamp that I used to pay for it. <laughs> Like a real pro. Uh, that is okay. okay. Well, the reason I have that, I'm gonna pay three mana. I'm gonna put out Mayhem Devil. Mm -hmm. Sounds Gucci. And then I'll pay a mana. Play Cauldron Familiar. Yep. And then I'll go to twenty. Safety because I don't know like one mana. I don't know why this card. Guys, let's say it has got two low or something. I'm gonna play my land for the turn. Still in main phase one. Okay. Then I will pass. All right. Untap. Draw. I'm gonna go ahead and play Judith. Okay. Oh, neat. Okay, so when non-token creature you have dies, it deals one damage to any target. Okay. All right. And you can go ahead. All right. Um, at your end step, I'm gonna sacrifice Cauldron Familiar. Mm -hmm. Grab a food token. I'd like this to deal a damage here. Cool. Um, so this will trigger. Yep. Um, I'm gonna ping. I don't have anything in my hand, so it's just saying. Oh, as you, I guess, for one. And I think I'll just start my turn. Cool. <laughs> Alright, oh, okay. draw a card, yeah, it's the basic guy. pay a mana, but see, that's why you, that's why you like, yeah. mm -hmm. like so if you draw, going to sacrifice a food token, bring out Cauldron Familiar, yep. deal damage here, let's go to 20, then I'm going to sacrifice Cauldron Familiar, get a food token, deal a damage here. Yes. And then this will die. I'll ping you for one. Okay. Um, I'll bring, yeah, I'll, okay, I'll bring back the cat, yeah. Okay. And that'll do a damage to your face. Yes. And then combat phase, I'll just throw for three. Sounds good. Down to nine. I guess we're done here. And I'll pass. <laughs> All right. Draw. It's over, homies. I guess I didn't realize it was Um... Butcher. Okay. Move to combat. Alright. First of all, I will sacrifice cat, deal one damage to the butcher. Mm-hmm. Grab a free token. I'll ping you for one. Alright, I go to 18. Sacrifice food token. Grab that, deal one plus one. And then, <laughs> my go or? Yep, okay. all you. Sure thing. Draw a card. I oh, forgot to untap this. I'll swing for four. Oops. Alright, then I think I have enough sacrifices to one. I think I agree. 
That's one, bring it back, two, three, four, and then it does damage each time. Negative day. one health. Yeah. Well, actually, more than that. Because yeah, because I'm okay. All right. Good, game. good games. Yep. Thanks for watching, folks. Have a good one.